Hey everyone, Alex Region Retail Rips here, bringing you a pack battle, if you will. Today we have the Tops 21 Series 1 Hanger Box, taking on the Donruss 21 Hanger Box against the Underdog. And personally, I think it has an outside chance of beating these two is the Fairfield Baseball Collector's Edge box. One out of every eight boxes does contain a hit. And they could be autographs, parallels, special packs. And it usually is an older pack in here anyway. I got a good feeling this one would come out on top of Walgreens when we actually uh, restocked all these. So we got a bunch of these actually. I don't know if I'll be uh, doing videos for these. It might just be kind of like an, a my own time thing. But let me know down below we get crack a lack and pause the video right now and vote who you think is going to take the victory today um how we're going to be doing this i'm going to take the top three cards from each box and then we'll go to the end of the video and see which is going to be the winner um we are going to get started with let's do tops 2021 series one and we're going to save the good old fairfield walgreens box for last i feel like that is seems like got a good outside of chance of taking this guys but yeah be sure to like the video to support the video subscribe to the channel support the channel hit that bell icon so you guys get notified whenever i do go live or upload a new video hit that subscribe button as well like i said and uh be sure to check out my uh Twitter, give me a follow on there. Link will be down below in the description. Be sure to check out my eBay store if you're interested in purchasing any of these cards that might be put up on there. Good crack a lack in here. Hope you all are enjoying your day. And let's see who will take the cake here. Remember, like I said, top three cards from each box. Spencer Howard will put that one in the maybe spot. All right, let's see what we're doing here. We're going to go Andrew W. Garcia. I think this is like the last actually hanger box of uh, series one that I actually have on me as I take a look behind me. Yeah, it's actually the last uh, series one hanger I actually have. Probably should have stocked up on a few more of those. The target, one of the targets in my area actually had a bunch of them. I don't know why I didn't pick any up. Luis Patino rookie, we'll put that in the maybe pile. Actually, very excited to see who will come out on top here today. We got a Nate Pearson rookie, we'll throw that one in there. Looks like we might have a gold card coming up here, actually. We got a Vlad Jr., he's Hagelar. Get a nice rookie out of this gold card. We have a Adam Plutko. Not an ideal one. Get the Vlad. We got the 52s here. First, and ooh, I don't think I have this one for this 86. Ooh, look at the 70 anniversary tops. Bob Gibson. This thing's actually pretty sharp. Really nice. I don't have this one. Can add that one into the set. Keep those all in the maybes. And it looks like this is just going to be a bunch of commons here now. It doesn't look like we're going to be hitting anything else. So we can maybe we can pull out a decent rookie here. I fix my little setup over here. I really should put some of these cards away. I just got done filming a few videos before this and actually just take one day. I just usually film a few videos together for you guys. And I have not, I got a bunch of stacks of cards tomorrow on the right side of this table that uh, just been sitting here from them. Dalton Varsho, Ricky, probably not going to make the top three. Christian Pache, he'll make the top three for sure, probably. Probably going to be all rookie cards on see we have remember three three cards per each box and we got the 
past year, we'll probably do a Varshaw. I don't know. I do like that Bob Gibson. It's actually kind of nice. Nate Pearson, Luis Patino. Um, so we're going to put that Bob Gibson in there. And I guess maybe... I guess we'll put the Plutko in there since it's... I kind of want to do the Pearson. But since this is a number card out of 2021, we will put the Adam Plutko. I'll put those aside there. So here is our top three from the Tops 2021 Series 1 box. And I'm going to put the Pache, the Gibson, and then the Plutko. So there we have that one. Let's get into... Don Ross actually just picked up a few of these. Probably going to have another uh, hanger box opening of these in a future video. And so one of our uh, upcoming videos should actually be the 89 uh, Flare. So it should be part three in our search for Billy Rick and Eric card, which I'm really excited about to finally get that. Um, I don't see any thick cards in there. 50 cards in this box. How many cards were in the uh, tops? There's 67 cards in that one in the tops. And the Don Russ gives you 50, but I feel like the Don Russ has better inserts, in my opinion. Like I said, the only thing I hate about Don Russ, they don't have the rights to uh, the team logos. Some of you might not consider that as a big deal, not probably, but uh, I have serious OCD issues. And it just irks me that I can't see, I don't see a logo on any of their jerseys. I think, I don't know if it does or not, but I feel like it kind of devalues a card. It may not though, it may not. Got a backwards card, we got a bunch of cards backwards. Nothing too crazy right there. Got all of these cards. What the? What's going on with this? Weird. Rizzo, John Smoltz, Dallas Keuchel, Reggie Jackson, Miguel Cabrera, Ricky Henderson, Dylan Bundy, Dwight Gooden, Jesus Lazardo, Rod Carew. Still looking for a decent insert at Aero. That's kind of cool. We got a numbered U Darvish card, so that one's automatically probably going to make the top three. Uh, what is this, a red, white, and blue uh, parallel by the looks of it? Red stripe, yeah, it looks like red, white, and blue parallel I'm going to go with. U Darvish out of 2021, number 376, so that will, will definitely make the top three most likely. Got a Norris Syndergaard, here comes our orange parallels. John Means, Johnny Cueto. And we got this Mario and, Mario and Rivera will make it. Um, put Syndergaard up there, why not? Uh, what do we got here? We got a Joey Gallo Hollow Diamond Kings. Ooh, we got a Joe Adele rated rookie orange parallel. Oh, that's definitely going to make top three. This Joey Gallo Diamond Kings card is really nice. Refractor Hollow. We got uh, Luis Robert Unleashed. We got a trending Ozzy Albies. Pretty nice. Put those in the maybe. We got DeGrom. Brandon Lau Diamond King. Sixto Sanchez rated rookie. I want to make the stack. I already think that uh, Don Russ is actually going to beat the tops. Daniel Tatis Jr. Diamond Kings. Ooh, Drake, Jake Cronenworth rated rookie. We'll throw that one in there. Got a lot of memories. Mike Trout, Diamond Kings. I think he might make it just because it's Diamond Kings card. Uh, Braylon Marquez. Shane Bieber. Mike Estremski, Diamond Kings. Ian Anderson, Raid Rookie. And a Javi Baez. We'll put that one in there just because it's my boy Javi. And we'll throw these over here. And what will make the top three? I'm already pretty sure this top three is going to beat the tops. Top three, Trout might make it. Javi ain't gonna make the top three. Jake, you're not gonna make the top three. Uh, Sixto's probably not gonna make top three. 
Uh, Joe Adele is probably going to be number one. We'll put we'll put you Darvish in there because he's numbered. Um, let's take a look. I kind of want to put that Trout in there. Uh, what would you guys take for the third card here? I'm not quite sure. Uh, Ozzy Albee's trending. You're not going to make the top three. No, you're not going to make it. At least Robert Unleash, you're not going to make it just because you're a White Sox. <laughs> no, no offense to Sox fans watching this. Uh, Trout, Tatis, Gallo. Uh, I'm leaning towards the Rivera orange uh, parallel. But I think we're going to go with the Trout, Diamond King, close out the top three. We are going to do... It's actually another good Joe Adele hit that I've gotten out of the Donnera. So you saw we got the uh, Game Used Jersey card. We opened these up last time. We'll do Joe Adele 1, U Darvish 2, and Trout 3. So I am bumping up Donruss into the one spot. And here we go, the underdog. The $4.99 box from Walgreens from Fairfield. Let's see what we can do. I'm really excited. I, I got a bunch of these. I think I just might just open these up on my own time. If you, get, if you guys are watching this, if you guys are into these, let me know. I'll, I'll record more videos for these, but uh, I don't know. One out of eight boxes contain a hit. It's a little weird because the football version of these, it's one out of four boxes. It looks like we got something from Leaf. We got Donruss. So what are your Donruss is this? Do not know what your Donruss is. 88, looks like. I don't know if 88 Donruss is really worth much. Um, yeah, if the 88 Donruss is worth it, I might put a picture up on the screen right now showing you guys. All right, let's go. We got to find the top three cards that can beat the uh, Donruss. That uh, Donruss came on strong, guys. I'm going to get through this stack, and then I'll open up that pack. And we'll get into that last stack of cards there. Joe Madden. Let me try to keep these on screen so you guys don't think I'm switching stuff around. It's about as close and I got hiccups, great. Not a good time to get hiccups. All these cards are going to be upside down, I see. Casey Fossum. Ooh, that's an... Is that an actual old 86? Moose Haas. See, yeah, that is an 86. That's Ooh, I like getting these vintage cards. We're going to put him in the maybe pile. Tommy John, Mike Williams, Terry Pendleton, 86 Donruss of Marvel Wind. Never heard of him before. Mike Lowell, Storm Davis, Dan Plezak, Jerry Hurston. There's Kevin McGrounds, Mark Langston, Jack Howell. Maybe we'll get that hit out of here. Who knows? We got another 86 of Ted Power. We'll put that in the maybe pile. Got a Noah Syndergaard. Future stars Noah Syndergaard. Okay, we'll put that in a maybe pile. Ronaldo Rope Lopez from 2020 Tops Heritage. Not a short print. Looks like we got, what is this, 2019 uh, Tops, I think. Yeah, 2019 Tops. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. did you guys see this next card go? We got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card out of this box. Wow. <laughs> out of the $4.99. Uh, that top left corner looks a little... And so does the top right. Uh, maybe could get an 8 out of that from PSA. What, what a big card to pull right there. Wow, I think... Uh, I think uh, Walgreens Fairfield might have just broke it. Ryan Barucki. Ooh, I can't believe we got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card out of that. 
And if you want to keep it going, I'll take a Fernando Tatis one right now. You got a Bowman Chrome coming up. Yamir Candelario. Bowman Chrome of Adam Lind. What year Bowman Chrome is this? Uh, what is this, 2010? Stats are 2009. I can't really see. Yeah, it says 2010 at the bottom. And then Nate McClouth. What year is this one? This is 2010. I do like that 2000. That 2010 design is actually clean. Let's go ahead and get into this 88 Don Russ. I don't know what's good to pull out of the season. And we got a puzzle piece. This is 88 Donruss. We got a Dave. Let me know if there's like any error cards you can get out of 88 Donruss. So if there's anything interesting out of these. Looking like there's anything too crazy. Brumley, Carl Nichols, Eisenreich, Tommy Herr, Mickey Hatcher, Andre Dawson. There's a nice hit right there. We'll put him in the maybe pile. All right, guys, here comes the second stack. See if we can get that hit on. Maybe that Vlad Guerrero was considered the hit out of that. I do not know. Maybe we'll get lucky. What are these? Flare 92. Paul Abbott Prospects card. Mike Henneman. Jose Guzman. Terry Steinbeck. Bunch of backwards cards. Do that. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Alex Sintra. No, I forgot all about him. Jason Marquis pitched for the Cubs for a brief minute. Bobby Hammock, Anthony Alfred Bowman, Ron Darling, George Arias. Darren Erstad. I think I got Darren Erstad's autograph on a baseball somewhere. 90 Donruss. Don't really care about that, to be honest. Your last, coming down to the last stack here. Let's see if maybe we can get that hit out of this box. We get that one out of eight. Paul Sorrento. I was about to say this box has been too bad with moving cards back and forth, but ever since I thought that, it's been bad. Got Jack McKeon. Jason Vargas. We got a Norm Hutchins prospect card. Never heard of him, so he obviously didn't really pan out, I guess. Eric Show. What year of tops is this? I keep seeing these all the time. I never know what year. These are 88s, so okay. In 88, that was the year I was born. We got here, is that Benito Santiago? Yes. Holman, Jesse Orozco, and this video is pressing 20 minutes. We're almost done, though. Calvin Pickering, Bowman, Tony Clark, Mike Gallego, Mike McFarland, Rob Dibble, Tops Kids cards. That's actually a pretty cool one to pull there. Got a Manny Trio. I found that we got another 86 coming up. I love those 86 cards. We'll put that one there. I'm probably not going to make top three, but we'll put them there. Dale Svein. Dan Gladden. Last couple cards here. I don't think we're going to get that hit out of here unless you would consider. I would, actually, that Vlad Jr. card to be a hit. So Nick Asaski. And our last card of that box is Joe Sambito. These are 87 design. Okay, let's pick out our top three here. See what we got. I'm probably not going to... Dawson, I would say. Vlad's definitely going to make it. And we got these 86. We'll put Noah Syndergaard there. We got a few of those 86 cards I'm actually excited about. And then top three, we are going to go Vlad Jr., Dawson, and Noah Syndergaard. Now, if we just took the top cards, hands down, the Vlad Jr., would give it, in my opinion, to the $4.99 Fairfield box. But since we took three cards, let's 
take a look here. I'm actually going to pick this up. Bottom card will be the card number one, two, and three. Got those right there. Joe Adele. All right, looking at this right now, Tops 21, 2021 Series 1 is going to come in third. We go to these two up here. Trout's going to win the third place spot on, from that round. The second place spot over here. Um, I'm going to go with Dawson because he's a Hall of Famer. I know this card is limited, but... And then we go here. Oof. Oh, man, this is tough. Let me know what you guys would take here for your number one. Now, I'm going to throw a curveball. I'm going to give it to Don Russ. You guys might disagree just because of the Vlad Jr. card. Like I said, it comes down to the uh, total value of all, of all three cards, and I think Don Russ has it slightly outbeat. I might be wrong on that. But, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys would take at number one. I do think the best card of the day is definitely the Vlad Jr. card. Might be something I might actually get sent off to PSA at some point. We will see. But yeah, guys, be sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below letting me know what you think. One today. Uh, go ahead and hit that bell icon as well. Subscribe to the channel. Be sure to give me a follow on Twitter. Link will be down below in the description box. Along with my uh, link to my eBay store for anything that you might see that I pulled here that might be up there. Go take a look. I'm interested in purchasing something. But until next time, guys, this is Alex with Region Retail Rips signing out.